Within the next month or so, no matter whether you choose AMD or Intel, you're gonna get access to the blistering fast speeds from the PCI Express Gen 4 interface. And Corsair, well, they're pushing it to the limits with the MP600 Pro. Let's do this. Are you tired of not having enough space to store all of your games? Yes. Well, the Surefire range of gaming SSDs and hard drives may be just for you. With sizes up to two terabytes, you can take your games with you, on the go, wherever you go. Featuring stylish RGB lighting and big capacities, you may just have enough room to download the latest Call of Duty update. Maybe. These drives are sure to fire up your gaming experience when the time is right, whether you're on PC or console. Make sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. Did I seriously just say sure to fire up? Look, pre-rolls are hard, okay? So the MP600 Pro, what's it all about? It's basically Corsair's flagship NVMe drive. It comes in one terabyte and two terabyte capacities with a suspected four terabyte on the way. Comes included with an aluminum heatsink as standard because as we know, Gen 4 drives can get a little bit warm. And the last thing you want to happen is to get thermal throttling as that will ultimately affect your speeds. If you're wanting even more cooling, then the Hydro X version is available. While the drive itself is exactly the same as the Pro, the heatsink is actually a water block with a simple inlet outlet design. Now, while I can't really see this making a huge difference in terms of thermals based on our own testing of the standard passive version, it definitely looks the part when tied into your loop. And it's worth noting that the Hydro X edition is only available on the two terabyte model, like we have here. So what about speeds? Well, Corsair have the non-pro version, which while still being PCI Express Gen 4, tops out at around 4950 megabytes a second read and 4250 megabytes a second write, and uses the Fizen E16 controller, pretty much like every other competitor. The Pro, as the name would suggest, takes it even further, with rated speeds of up to 7,000 megabytes a second sequential read speeds and 6,550 megabytes a second sequential write and this time uses the Fizen E18 controller. Now, along with the controller, the drive uses high density 3D TLC NAND with up to 1400 terabytes written endurance, along with a five year warranty. So you should be pretty much covered, meaning it's pretty much up there with all of its major competitors in terms of longevity. For comparison, the non-pro, which has slower speeds, has a slightly longer endurance of 3600 terabytes written. But this is, I guess, the trade-off that you're gonna get with getting those faster speeds and, well, why Corsair actually went with TLC NAND over the likes of, say, QLC, which does actually offer larger capacities. So what about the performance, though? It's all well and good having rated numbers here, there, and everywhere, but these kind of consist of, well, a lot of varying factors. What would the average consumer actually get if they bought this in the hope of getting, I don't know, even close to them speeds? Well, in synthetic benchmarks, you're gonna be getting close to those 7,000 megabytes a second read speeds and also close to them 6,550 megabytes a second write speeds, depending on the test that you're looking at. And obviously the type of workload, queue depth, and of course, the type of files that you're transferring. You have to remember that different controllers and firmwares favor compressible data versus incompressible. And then other controllers and other drives actually do the opposite. While synthetic benchmarks are great for comparisons, it doesn't always indicate what real world usage is like. And to see how things did there, we took Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which as we know, based on updates is a very, very large folder in the grand scheme of things, and transferred it to the drive to see, I guess, how real world usage would actually be for you, the average consumer. Now, when looking at the speeds, we were getting speeds of around 1.36 gigabytes per second, with a dip to around 760 megabytes per second as it changed to different smaller files and varying file types. Again, talking about that compressible and incompressible data. Either way, the file transfer speeds were pretty impressive, and we found no issue whatsoever with thermal throttling of any kind, as the drive in our open air test bench stayed at around 49 degrees during the bulk of our testing. Pretty damn impressive. Now, in our synthetic benchmarks, we actually had higher results than Corsair's rated figures. I mean, you know, go us, well done. Uh, maybe, you know, there's reasoning behind it. Maybe we're lucky, or maybe Corsair are just being conservative with their numbers, which gives you that kind of extra sense of amazement when you buy one and then consequently test it yourself. Either way, it's a good thing to see, and I don't think you're really gonna be disappointed in any way. This is really taking things to the limit. 
So price-wise, the two terabyte model that I have right here comes in at $434 plus taxes direct from Corsair. So it's not cheap. If you're wanting the Hydro X edition, you're gonna be looking at a little bit more at $459 plus taxes. But if that is a bit too rich for you, it's worth noting that the non-pro version is $384, which will give you speeds of around 4950 megabytes a second sequential read and 4250 megabytes a second sequential write, and comes with the same five-year warranty. So it's not all bad. If even that is maybe, I don't know, a little bit too rich for you still, Corsair also have the MP600 core at $309 plus taxes for the two terabyte model. And this has the 3D QLC NAND instead of TLC. But it does come in a larger four terabyte capacity, albeit at $645 plus taxes and stock is, well, a little bit scarce. For the most part, I think a one terabyte MP600 Pro is gonna be more than enough for most people, giving you the balance of blistering fast speeds, a decent amount of storage, even if just for a, say, a boot drive with a few select kind of of your favorite games, Warzone, and that's about it. But coupled with that five-year warranty, it seems like it's the perfect drive for those wanting a bit of everything. And it looks pretty cool too, you have to admit. Obviously, if you have a board with M.2 shields or heat sinks, you may wanna remove that Corsair heat sink for that, I don't know, sleek look. Though be warned, it's a little bit fiddly and you may actually rip the thermal pads in the process. So let me know, what kind of driver are you actually rocking in your system? Are you all about kind of them blistering fast speeds or do you prefer capacity? Or that sweet spot of faster than a hard drive and maybe even faster than a base level SATA SSD, but with a larger capacity without, you know, breaking the bank. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know exactly what to do. And I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.